Okay, so this is the first real programming part of the stock set. We will create the Xcode project today and we'll start working on the general UI. So I've already given um, the project a name, I just call it stocks app, but what I wanted to make sure is that you check use core data here because I do not want to actually create a core data stack myself. Um, I will just use the standard one and of course it will be built in Swift UI. Okay, so the project is now created and first of all I will clean up everything that's in the sample core data project. So for that um, I can remove all of this code I can remove everything inside of the body and just put in um, hello world text there. I can remove the delete items and add items functions. And I can also remove this environment object here and also the item formatter. And actually, yeah, let's keep core data in here for now. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is go into the persistence.swift file I am not going to work with the preview context, so I will just remove that. I also don't care about all of these comments, so I will remove those. And as you can see now, the persistence controller is much cleaner already. Okay, so as I said, we are going to orient ourselves in the native stocks app from iOS. So what that obviously has is a navigation view with a list inside. And then um, for now, let's just mock this list with, with some dummy data like this. And I will um, put, put a text in here just with that number. And that way we should have 10 entries in the list this doesn't compile obviously because I need to insert a string into the text. So if I do it like this, then the preview should start to run in just a second. Okay, the preview is now running. So what we can do first is put a navigation title to our list. And um, for now I will just call it, I'll, I'll call it my stocks, okay. And then I'll also add a toolbar item on the top right. So let's call the toolbar modifier here. And let's create a toolbar item with a placement of dot primary, I believe, or dot primary action maybe. Um, I'm not quite sure actually. And then the content we will refer to that to use a trailing closure. Yeah, primary action is working. And then as the content, I will just add a button. Let's call it um, edit, or actually we could use an edit button here. Okay, just like this. And then you can see in the preview now, we have an edit button that automatically, automatically switches between edit and done which will then also enable us to add um, recognizers to our list to um, move and delete items. I think we will not care about moving them, just about deleting them. Okay. Let's take a look into how the app will look like in the end. So there will be a name, then there should be a graph and then the values. And if we look into the um, API, we get a symbol back and um, we get the values back in five minute intervals. So I think we will just put the symbol here instead of the full name. So let's try to craft this right now. Let's create an H stack with a text. Let's just call it symbol. Then there should be a spacer. Then there will be the graph, but we will create that later on. So for now, I'll just put a rounded rectangle there um, with a frame of, with let's say 100 or 200 or 150 maybe, just so it's not too large and a height of maybe 50. 
Yeah, that should work. And then after that, there should be a V stack with two text elements, which should be value and change. And I think I want those to be trailing aligned. So in the V stack, I will specify an alignment, alignment of dot trailing. And like that, we already have the general layout and everything else I will cover in the next video. I think we will actually get already started with um, the API stuff because then we actually have some content to test out the other features like adding and removing stocks. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because we will build this app throughout the next days or weeks and there will be many other tutorials coming. So keep tuned and see you in the next one.